so watchOS 10 is out for beta testers and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can update your device to the latest software update. The first thing that you need to do in order to update your Apple Watch to watchOS 10 is to actually update your iPhone that's paired with the watch that you want to update to the latest software update. So right now the latest beta update is iOS 17. If I go into settings and then go to general and go to the about you can see the version that I have is iOS 17 and this is the build number that you see once your phone has been updated to iOS 17 you can then go ahead and update your Apple watch to watch OS 10 but since Apple changed the way that we are going to be updating our devices now this is the new way to do it in order for you to update your iPhone and your Apple watch you need to have one of two things either a free public beta account or a paid developer account so for now ios 17 and watchOS 10 beta 1 are available as of today for developer beta testers and then in july for public beta testers this is how you can get the developer beta of watchOS 10 and ios 17 and be able to update your device one you want to be able to go into the app store and then you want to go to the search portion right there and search for developer so once you search for that you will see that apple developer application comes up on top open that application and once it's open this is how it looks and you can go to the bottom section there where it says account you can see my account right there that's my email and my name if you don't have an account you see a blue button here that says enroll and that will allow you to enroll your apple id into the developer testing or into the developer account and then any device that you have that has your apple id now has a developer id associated with it and you can update it to the latest ios version and watch os 10. for the developer account you do need to pay hundred dollars per year and then once you do that you can see the status of your profile and you can see here for me I, I am valid and I have a new agreement that I want to agree on so I'll go ahead and do that once you've created your developer account you want to go into your settings and then go to software update and then you want to click here where it says beta updates on your iPhone and change that from iOS 16 to iOS 17 so that's the first thing that you do need to do and then the second thing that you want to do once your iPhone is updated for the Apple Watch, you have to change from watchOS 9 to watchOS 10. So you want to open up your Apple Watch application right there. Once it's open, you want to go to general and then you want to go to where it says software update. You can see right now because I have the beta update selected as watchOS 9, it's not seeing any updates for watchOS 10. But if I go to where it says beta updates, you can click there and then you select watchOS 10 and you can see my Apple ID that I used to create the developer account back in the developer application. So we've selected watchOS 10 and then if we go back, it will just take a moment to load the watchOS 10 update since it's just been released so here we go this is watchOS 10 developer beta 1 it comes in for me on my apple watch ultra at exactly 1.1 gig and this is how you get it using the developer method on my apple watch here if i was to go into settings and then go to general and go to software update you can see it's now showing watchOS 10 developer beta and that is because on the iphone we changed the profile from watchOS 9 to watch os 10 so that's how you get it using the developer method that's paid a hundred dollars per year there is a free method that you can do but then it has a delay you have to wait for about a month and that is enrolling your apple id into the public beta program so what you want to do if you want to use the public beta method is to go to this website so i'll create a new tab here you want to go to this website 
beta.apple.com and then you want to go down if you don't have an account you can sign up if you have an account you can sign in and then you know you would have enrolled your apple id into the public beta testing service that apple offers and that way you'll be able to go into your settings on your apple watch and then select watch os 10 public beta beta it won't show developer beta it's showing developer beta here because i have the developer account but then you'll be able to select watch os 10 public beta but like i mentioned it will take like almost like one month for you to be able to get the first public beta of watch os 10 so it's a pretty easy and simple method that you can use one is using the paid developer beta you get the beta update instantly when it's released like today and then the second method is the free one but then you do have to wait a month before you can get the first public beta of watch os 10 so that's how i'm going to be updating my device hopefully this video helps you out if you're looking forward to updating and other than that stick around and do subscribe as i'll be covering watch os 10 from the first beta up to until it's released in the fall so that's about it for me. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.